today I would like to show you what I'm currently working on. I've got a UPS, which is a double conversion. It converts the AC power straight to the DC and from the DC it's going to the AC inverter. This is a very good device because it has a really good isolation between the utility input and your equipment so it will filter any noise and the fluctuation of the voltage because we are running only from the DC and it have like a zero time of switching because it just switch to the to the battery and I believe the battery is like constantly being charged so very very good device but it fail and how it fail it doing a cold start just okay this is when you disconnect your main power you've got your UPS completely power off and you are starting it without main presence and it doing that just fine when I'm plugging the power in it's starting up but after self test it's switching to the bypass mode so there is a relay that is joining the input with the output and it's not doing its job and there was was a error code that was not covering the user manual so I have to open this device and start looking what might be what might be wrong clearly the inverter board is 100% okay I also have a charging voltage which is okay so I'm not going to touch the the charger and I would be interested in that part because we can see big for the, the chopper capacitors and there is a fuse and I'm measuring that fuse I'm not sure if you are going to be able to see that but right now I'm I'm touching to the fuse and it says over limit and if we touch we hear a beep and that fuse is blown and I'm pretty sure that it will fix this unit I'm touching the capacitors and they do not feel bulge so I believe they are okay maybe someone hook up like uh, inductive load and this fuse blown I'm going to replace that and we are going to check will this fix our double conversion UPS okay so I'm after a little bit of more investigation so I try the fuse and it blown again so that wasn't the cause as you can see everything is, is open next I was checking the the capacitors I check both the ESR and the capacitance and they were just looking fine I try a diode in that section but they were also okay and then I go to the other side and there is a main bridge rectifier which have a, a very interesting form factor and I had a problem to get exactly the same one I was managed to get the same four factor with same pinout but for the higher amperage and the voltage but that's absolutely not a problem but as you can see there is a same four factor this is a very low value for that package this is what I noticed they are like 15 amp 20 amps not not that much amp very interesting choose very not common so we are going to put a more beefy one and maybe that will also prevent 
from blowing in the future. So how to how to check this? That was a very very simple. You just grab your universal component tester and as you can see we've got a short between between leads so that one is blown and of course if we've got a we've got a working one inside there is a four diode and by connecting to the three legs we are going to see something like this so we've got uh, two diodes to the one lead so I'm going to put that one and we are going to try because I'm pretty sure that it will work as you can see I've got this lead because I was using the external fuse because I didn't want to blow them but that time I'm going to put uh, exactly the same fuse that was inside okay and we've got our new bridge rectifier in place and also a new fuse which is over there I'm going to close everything and we are going to check if we have a working UPS okay so everything is in place the controller board is mounted the vent duct is in place there is no spare screw in that bag and that's mean we are good to go and try to power it on okay so as you can see we've got our battery hook up and we can try to power it on so first of all we are going to do a cold start and I'm going to power it on without the utility power It's quite annoying powering on because of most the UPS you just hold the on button and here you have to depress it and press again when you hear that first beep and as you can see right now we are working straight from the battery to the output zero volt is the input and input we've got uh, zero hertz and the inverter output is 230 volt, 50 hertz and 0% of the load and this is how it looks like so I'm going to back to the input and now I'm going to connect the power plug and this is when everything was failing wait for the relay click and it's working as you can see we're going from the input through the UPS to the load and in meantime we are charging the battery this is our input voltage and everything looks just fine and as I told you this UPS is double conversion so we are always from the DC to the inverter and if I unplug the AC there is no switch time we are always online so we fix our UPS I'm going to try it under load charge discharge to make sure everything is fine but 
yes it's working and don't worry about that that just mean that phase and the neutral is inverted which is stupid which is stupid but yes that's how how they make it so thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye